very good morning to you. We're back with the Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. It's a beautiful Friday morning, the last day um, <laughs> uh, for us this week, and uh, looking forward to the weekend. My name is Kofi Bartels. And I am Messi Ebopo. It's good to have you join us this morning. All right, uh, Messi, indeed, uh, looking forward to our conversations with our guests this morning. The elections are fast approaching, and um, Nigerians have just uh, uh, a couple of days to take, get their permanent voter cards. Uh, uh, it expires on, on Sunday, and the end line, the end line uh, elapses on Sunday. Um, INEC will be, will be on, you know, all the offices of INEC to get the voter cards, so we're encouraging everybody, you know, to go out and get those cards. Um, we know that the INEC officials, staff, even if they have ad hoc staff, will be working their socks off from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., so we're encouraging every single person out there to please, 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 please go and get uh, your permanent voter card if you had already registered to vote. All right, and it's exactly on the 5th of, of, uh, of February 2023. Uh, don't sit back at home and say, oh, INEC is going to, uh, to, to extend it. We know them. That's what they do know. Go and get your card. All right, let's start off with a, a top trending segment. Messi, is a lot to look at, um, but we can only squeeze in uh, maybe three of the top trending uh, stories and things in Nigeria uh, into our conversation this morning. We start off with um, Oshun State. Oshun State has really been uh, in the eye of the storm as far as politics is concerned. It's been a really hot battle there, uh, you know, and um, you know what happened with uh, the election. You know how the PDP uh, governorship candidate uh, won that election, talking about uh, uh, Governor Delike, David O's uh, uncle and Shino Rambo's father, the dancing senator, who became the dancing governor. Um, many would have asked if he was going to dance after he lost uh, at the election petition tribunal um, to his rival of the PDP's uh, candidate and former governor, uh, Boyega Oyetola. All right, um, but uh, the dancing governor kept dancing. In fact, uh, one of the words used in court was that he was dancing to Buga and he showed them that he will continue dancing to Buga. The news is that the Supreme Court. Uh, yesterday dismissed an appeal by the People's Democratic Party seeking to restore the nullification. This is not a tribunal uh, 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 a situation, a tribunal's ruling. It has, has nothing to do with that. But this is a different seat seeking to restore the nullification of the participation of uh, Boyga Oyotola of the PDP and his deputy Ben Victor Labio, his running mate, uh, in that July 16, 2022 governorship election. Uh, Milord the Honorable Justice Emeka Nwite of the Federal High Court in Abuja uh, in a judgment on September 2022, if you recall, had uh, nullified the participation of Ayatollah and Alabi in the governorship election on grounds that their nomination forms were endorsed by an acting chairman of APC who was also a serving governor of Yobe State, Mai Malabuni and uh, well, luckily for the two gentlemen, Oyetola and his running mate, uh, Justice Nwiti's judgment was set aside by the Court of Appeal in a judgment in December last year, uh, which um, enabled him to participate in the election. Of course, the PDP appealed to the highest appellate court in the land, uh, the final bus stop as far as uh, appeals are concerned, the Supreme Court. And this is a judgment that has been delivered. Delivered by five member panel at the Supreme Court, led by Milord the Honorable Justice Centers and Waze, um, which held that the PDP or the appeal by the PDP was without merit and directed the lawyer to the PDP, Kende Ogunwu Miju, SAN, to do the right thing, which was to withdraw the suit. So there you have it. Yes. Uh, eyes are on what the, uh, the tribunal will say the process is so far. Well, well, so, you know, I think that th there's a lot of misinterpretation. Uh, I think that Nigerians, a lot of people do not understand that this is a pre-election matter. So this is actually, uh, you know, everything is actually happening at the same time where there's a tribunal, uh, you know, 
there's a tribunal case and then uh, the tribunal has given her verdict. That's still a lot, but I think that there's been a mix up if you look at the thoughts of Nigeria. It's a pre election matter, it's a matter that has been ongoing prior to this time. And if you look at the context of the matter, it was that, you know, he was suing, the PDP was suing for the, uh, what's it called again? I mean, whether he has the capacity or Yatola had the capacity to contest in an election. However, the interpretation is that, you know, a delegate cannot, however, uh, you know, sue. He doesn't have the local standing. That's what, you know, legal practitioners will call it, uh, to uh, sue him because he was not part of the primaries in the sense that primaries are party affairs. So it was, I mean, it's an internal issue, right? So, and there was also a ruling prior to this time that he was qualified, you know, there was a back and forth with the court and what have you. And then there was a judgment that was given that he was qualified uh, you know, to go ahead. So yes, the reason why, you know, this has actually come out, the, the, the Supreme Court has sacked that or dismissed the case entirely, is that the other party, that's the PDP, has no local standing because, however, uh, Adeleke was not injured. He was not part of the primaries. If he was part of the APC and he contested, then he probably would have had the local standing to, you know, sue him. And that's, you know, the decision of the court. But I think that there's been, uh, you know, the misinterpretation and understanding that this is exactly, you know, a tribunal case. You know, it had nothing to do with the tribunal. Everyone's still expecting that the PDP has time to appeal the case. I mean, the, you know, the tribunal's judgment, right? Uh, go to the appeal court and that's what it should be. However, uh, there are also a lot of things surrounding the tribunal judgment or, you know, the... Uh, statement that was being put out in the sense that if you look at the judges, I mean, out of the judges, there's no unism in terms of the judgment that were delivered. So you had different versions. Some people were saying, oh, over voting. A certain judge said over voting. Another talked about different issues. And as such, you can't come to a conclusion. But it is what it is. We're still, I mean, fingers are crossed. It's only expected that there will be an appeal. And, and that's what it is. So yes, uh, I, I think that, you know, that whole back and forth has been going on. It's a pre-election matter. Uh, it's been ongoing and there's been a ruling prior to this time. If you look at the case involved, there's nothing there. So the tribunal is still a different issue entirely. And everyone is hoping that the PDP will take the route, which is, you know, go to the appeal court. Mm -hmm. And then that's it. So, but we, we, we have to quickly move on from that to our next top trending uh, this morning, and that would be on the issue of the Naira. It's been a lot for Nigerians. So, so it's, it's, we need to have a special Naira segment. <laughs> <laughs> we have a montage draw for it. <laughs> I, I, thought, I mean, oh the, I mean you, you're very correct. So, uh, the CBN is has said that she's committed to ensuring. I really don't know why I have to always say she, you know, whenever you're referring to entities. No, you, 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 feel free. I'm, I'm feel correct, free. Right? We, we, we're giving, we're giving, if, if that is what you... you <laughs> no, so, I mean, um, the CBN has said that, uh, you know, she's like, committed to ensuring the new... We guys, ladies, host. take everything. Everything can be she. We are that way. You know, we don't even call it he. No, we it's never not call that. It well, you know how it is he, that you want to refer the to the we, <laughs> we, don't, we don't use he. It's not really. You know, you know how it is. You, know. you were thought that if you were going to say Nigeria, ha. Nigeria, ha. You, you know, you call it. No, no problem. So, so why is that? I mean, what, it's, I mean it's I'm a just good, saying that this is. One. No, it's, it's a good one. <laughs> please, 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 please. So, well, you know, the conversation is ongoing. To be very honest, right? Uh, what you will face is there's no money. There's no cash almost anywhere. Now, even if you're going to find cash, because if you go to the bank, some of the bank or the banks that you have, including the one that's very closest to us, I mean, like very close to us, you can't find the old notes, even at the counter. You can't even find, you know, the new notes, even at the ATM. So, I mean, there's no money. Kosirara, there's no cash. That's the truth. Mm. And, um, you know, there's too many injunctions that's been given. So the CBN is assuring Nigerians that all oh, the new neural notes will be available for all of them. Uh, new neural notes will be available for all, including myself. And fingers are crossed. If you go to the POS uh, operators, you probably have to pay. If you, so for instance, you want to take 2,000 Naira, you'll be asked to pay 400. Kofi, so you want to, pay you want to take out 2,000 Naira from your account. Then after that 2,000 Naira, you have to pay 400 Naira. Exactly. For, for what, what's the rationale behind that? And then they tell you that we buy this money. Madam, we buy this money. We buy the money. So if you don't want, who is selling the money? How did you buy the money? Why should you buy the money? Yes, but should so, the money but, be but, sold? But, but the information is that the Central Bank of Nigeria has made a U-turn. 
and uh, saying that non-Nigerians can, uh, uh, the, the, the deposit money banks can commence payment of uh, new Naira notes over the counter, which is, I think we should uh, just say, no, today's a day of joy. No, no, no I'll copy. I'm, I'm, not sure that, joy. I'm not sure that we should be very the excited day. immediately. I, I, I mean, it's a relief for, for a lot of people, Mercy. No, a, a relief um, in the sense that you want to talk about the injunctions. I mean, it's not the first time you have the CBN given directives. Yes, it's not a problem. But, 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 we should but, be excited. But people but need to know, the, know the information, which is that the Central Bank of Nigeria has directed deposit money banks to commence payment of the redesigned Naira notes over the counter with a limit, a daily a payout limit of 20,000 Naira. A daily payout limit of 20,000 Naira. You know, and uh, uh, if, 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 if we, are, we, are, we are happy, I think Mercy is because it will be a relief All right, so, to um, a lot of people. Yes. Uh, Kofi, let's quickly take a look at this, you know, uh, tape right now. If we can roll it. Okay. So the that will now for that is now continue paying. Oh, it's about this. Okay. 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 Well, so so that's that's the uh, you know track right there. Felt like uh, there's, there was also checks and balances, uh, inspection of these banks to ensure that uh, you know all is done in accordance. I mean, it was also reported that. 30 million, if I'm not mistaken, was allocated to, you know, banks, and that's what you're expected to pay out at each time. But that's not it. So two and one is that the CBN has said that she was committed to ensuring new Naira notes reach the hands of Nigerians as soon as possible. And that's in collaboration uh, with the EFCC and ICPC. Uh, so, yes, the CBN has been carrying out uh, branch spot checks on ATMs or the banks, and that's what you saw on that clip. However, uh, there's also been a directive, that's what Kofi had mentioned earlier on, as directed that uh, the CBN has directed commercial banks to start paying redesigned Naira notes to customers over the counter. Yes, they said that this is in order to help, uh, you know, alleviate the challenges that Nigerians are experiencing with getting access to new notes, as well as reduce the queues at, you know, the ATMs uh, nationwide. These are, you know, statements. So it feels like, hey, there's a relief, but, you know, there might also be different questions over time as to how this can become because, I mean, we know that there's been several directives that's yes. been put out. Mm. Yes, indeed, Mercy, uh, uh, you've said it all, you know. Um, this is coming from Gordon Mayfield, the central bank governor. Uh, there was a statement posted on the CBN we website yesterday uh, and signed by the director of uh, corporate communications, who has had his work cut out for him recently. Because any time the, uh, the CBN governor goes, makes a statement, he has to clarify. But it was signed by Osita Umani Sobi. He uh, noted that the new directive uh, would address the challenges of queues experienced at commercial, uh, various commercial banks across the country. I'm sure they've seen the videos. I think they share these videos on WhatsApp a lot. Because anytime they, sometimes when they may feel they talk, especially recently, as a governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, he referred to some videos of people spraying money and all that. So I think people send these videos, uh, these videos to him so he can, he can see. Um, uh, so, so they're saying that Nigerians can only withdraw a 20,000 Naira uh, over the counter, 20,000 naira over the counter, uh, daily payout limit. And uh, this is quite an interesting development. But um, what the Central Bank of Nigeria uh, is saying is that they will also uh, continue to collaborate with the Nigeria police. We saw something on our screen. Um, they've been making sure the police, the uh, EFCC, ICPC, um, they have also added the uh, Federal Indian Revenue Service, uh, the Nigerian Financial Intelligence Unit, uh, to prosecute abusers and sellers of the Naira. 
people who are selling the Naira. So I don't know if they will categorize or put the POS agents in that category of those who are selling uh, uh, the Naira, of those who are selling Because some of these POS agents are, you know, giving out, uh, uh, performing services and charging a commission of as high as 20%, you know, for uh, cashing Naira. So 5,000 Naira, it will charge 1,000 Naira uh, for, for that. That is too high. Okay, that is too high. Now, this is what the statement said. Um, that the Central Bank of Nigeria has observed with great concern the, the activities of persons who sell the newly uh, designed or redesigned banknotes and those who flagrantly abuse the legal tender by hurting or hurling, you know, words of uh, Naira notes in the air and stamping the currency at social functions. I mean, I won't complain if somebody hurls. You know when they say you're hurling something at someone, it means you're carrying something large and through. Hey, if you want to hurl it at me, I mean, I won't complain. But they're saying that um, they're frowning at, at that, you know, stamping them. You know, Messi, stamp something. Somebody stamps a word of cash on your face. I don't know if you tell them that the CBN says they shouldn't do that and give it back to them. You know, but that's what they're saying. Now, they said also, the CBN, through the statement, that, quote, we equally notice the queues at ATMs across the country and the upward trend in the cases of people stocking and aggregating the newly uh, introduced banknotes they serially obtained from ATMs. It's blah, 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 blah. So, they're talking about laws, you know, um, uh, they're also talking about people selling the naira, talking about people spraying the naira, people stamping the currency, you know, and all that on people's heads. And they're saying that Section 21 sub 3 of the CBN Act 2007 frowns at this, you know, frowns at this. It is a, a crime, okay? It, it says, states that, um, uh, quote, this is the Act now, Section 21 sub 3 of the CBN Act, CBN Act 2007, spraying of, off, dancing or matching on the naira, stepping on it. Uh, or any note issued by the central bank during social occasions or otherwise, howsoever, shall constitute an abuse and, and defacing of the naira or such note and shall be punishable by under the law uh, by fines and imprisonment of both. Okay? That's what they're talking about. Now, the CBN also stated, and this is quite interesting, uh, section 21 sub 4, which states, quote, um, it shall be an offense punishable under subsection 1 uh, of this section for any person to hawk, uh, sell, or otherwise trade in the Naira coins and notes or any note issued by the bank. So does this mean that uh, those who are you know, providing point of sales devices uh, and services to the public to be able to cash, cash are they breaking this, uh, uh, flouting this rule because they, they charge a, uh, a percentage, a, a service charge? You know, it used to be, um, uh, is it, is it uh, 1% of the, the amount, you know, now we're seeing them charge as high as 5%, 10%, you know, so that's really, really high. Um, so uh, what, I, what I will finally add to this message is that um, it, for me, it was, it was a surprise that the Central Bank of Nigeria had uh, given a directive that over-the-counter and withdrawals of the new Naira notes should be stopped. It was a surprise because um, one of the, the limits they placed was for taking of the Naira over the counter, you know, the cash, revised cash withdrawal policies. That's number one. Number two, you had daily limits of um, uh, 100,000 Naira initially and 500,000 Naira weekly withdrawal limit, all right, which later was increased and you could take a weekly withdrawal of uh, 1 million and 5 million that's for individuals and corporate organizations now if those limits are to be adhered to it's hard for people to to adhere to them because people need the cash but in deference to the cbn's policy people say okay we're going to do it they said 100,000 500,000 people made noise now they increased it people are saying okay well we have a meeting point now if I'm a businessman and I need money, okay, to do my business. And I go to the ATM, which will give me only 20,000 naira a day, all right? How am I going to survive? How am I going to do business, okay? So, so whilst trying to tell Nigerians to adhere to a particular policy, which is the cash withdrawal limits, it was always going to be hard for business owners or families to survive with only 20,000 Naira cash a day for those who rely on cash transactions. You know, and I think it was, it was for me, it was always a defeatist uh, um, thing to say you can't go to the bank and withdraw the new Naira over the counter. I mean, so it means that as, a, as, a, as an individual, I can't get more than 20,000 Naira in a day.
Okay. What if I need I need to use fifty thousand naira in a day? You transfer, or you use the app? Don't tell me that. <laughs> Don't tell me that. Merci. I'm not Don't the one tell telling you that. that that's what it is. Yes, right now <laughs> I see you as a bafili. <laughs> you know. I mean, I mean, you see, you, you see, to see you the see. expression you had. <laughs> Don't tell. Mercy, let me I mean, give I'm a just classic. reminding you of let what me give you a classic me. example. You, you have no, you, you me, have no idea what's going on. Let me give because because you ask yourself, um, with all the 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 qualifications of uh, these guys who are the CBN, so many of them, you see how they troop to the National Assembly to meet with the committee, committee. How can you say in a country for how many weeks now that people cannot withdraw? The new notes. And nobody wants to go to the bank to make and withdraw old notes because probably the people you're doing the business with cannot will not accept the old notes. And you're telling us that we cannot withdraw no, new no. notes over the count. So where are we going to get them from? So so for for the period of extension, don't forget that I mean we probably would have been over this by this time. Today's the third of February. So the period of extension is a period of I mean, it means that that also is a legal tender. But the challenge that we're faced with at the time, up until the tent. Now, uh, when you get to the tent, however, it's expected that you will still be able to swap the, I mean, go to the bank and exchange yes, the cash, yes, yes. but it's no longer a legal yes, tender. Yes, so my point is, I mean, it's still a legal tender up until this moment. Uh, that's, what, that's the reason for the extension. But you ask yourself, why is it that you don't even have the new notes and the old notes not available? The Apex Bank is blaming the commercial banks. And we have seen that people go to parties, this, they have the note. How come you have the POS operators having what, what, I, what, I, what I'm talking about is a different situation. Okay. Yes. Now, okay, yes, yeah, it's a spring and all that is there. I need 50,000 Naira immediately. Can I get that 50,000 Naira from the ATM machine or from the ATM rather? The answer is no. Mm -hmm. Can I get that 50,000 Naira from the banking hall? The answer is no. Because the CBN has said you can't give money. Even the, the, the limits they place, they are even saying we can't even withdraw up to that limit. Okay? Now, you're telling me that I need to take my old money to the bank to change it for new money. And then now, Messi, you're saying, and maybe they're saying too, that, mm -hmm. well, if I need a lot of money now, I should go back and take the old Naira. When rather, if I go to the bank because they want to take the old Naira out of the system, they should be giving me new notes. So if I need 50,000 naira, for instance, 100,000 naira, 1 million naira, okay, in a week as an individual, and I go to the bank and they give me old notes, how will the old notes get out of the system so that by the deadline we have more news into the system, okay? So, so it, it, it's, it's, um, it's, it's, I'm just trying to just No, I, I'm not it, saying, uh, yeah, first, first, I'm I not saying, I'm not saying you are saying, well, I'm, you I'm, I'm so. asking the CBN. So, for oh. number, one, number one, when you want to introduce change, change must be gradual. Okay? It's something called change management. It's a process. And you must be consistent. You cannot say you want to, you want to change something, but you are doing the old thing. Okay? What it is, means is that people will go, for instance, you want to get 50,000 naira over the counter. They'll give you 20,000 naira new notes. All right? And um, 10,000, uh, uh, 30,000 naira old notes is what this, this means. Okay? They'll give you 20,000 naira new notes and then 30,000 are old notes. How are you going to take the old notes out of the system? So, <clears throat> the policy inconsistency, the policy U-turns, the policy somersaults by the CBN is, is, is worrying. You said you're going to, um, uh, what do you call it again, place a limit of 500,000 naira for individuals and a million naira for companies. Little people made noise, you changed it. You said you're going to end the use of the old Naira by 31st of January. People made noise, you changed it. You said people can withdraw money over the counter to a certain limit. You again now came back and said, yes, you can withdraw the money, but even though we want you to change the old Naira for new Naira, we'll give you old still. You can't take new Naira. Now you said, okay, you can take new Naira, but only 20,000 Naira. Why can't we have a straight policy from the CBN, well thought out, and then we can know this is what to do. You know what, Messi? It's sending mixed signals. And also it shows that these guys don't know what they're doing. Because if you know what you're doing, you would have projected, analyzed, and thought out every scenario to come up with the best decision. Not to be changing your mind. 
Why are you changing your mind? And the Bible says a double-minded mind is unstable in all, is all his ways. It's, it's, it's an unstable thing. You change your mind. It's okay, I want to drink uh, Coke. They bring Coke. You know, I say, no, no, I want to drink Fanta. The, the, the summer salts are too much. So, 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 you also need to know that, don't forget that, this is not the first time we're having the Naira not uh, being redesigned, introduced, we've had uh, over time. Have you ever seen this kind of drama? No, we what, haven't. What are you, well, so, 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 my point is, this is not the first time. We've had different, I mean, prior to, the, the same currency we're spending right now, the, the old notes that we now refer to as the old note. We've had times where we've gone through transition yeah has there, yeah. Has there been this sort of drama and you know because naturally it, it, this is the professor we've never had this sort of drama coffee it just faces out you if know you, you notice say, it yeah you won't notice it thank you Mr. you know so you bring the money okay. i mean if you introduce a new currency or a new note you're using the new note automatically it just it's... you know it just goes so what happens is if you bring the new old note to the system and it's being collected whoever collects it you're getting a new one, whatever it is that you're getting. It keeps recycling. The system itself was designed to just, you know, help itself not, you know, get to that point. So there's no need for, oh, we are stopping the old notes. The old note will just go on its own. So how did we do it at that time and what were we doing at this point in time? But Kofi, we don't have time. We have to leave that. Unfortunately, we can't. Yesterday, you know, yesterday, one of our staff was um, telling me something that uh, caught my attention. He says he's, he's afraid. Afraid people, of what? People lose money. If I have a purse and you look inside, you see the new 200 naira note, you might think it's 10 naira. You see the 1,000 naira note, you might think it's 50 naira. And it's possible that some people may just blindly, yes. especially as market. It, it women, happened to me. It happened to you. Just give out that. So I think I was. I, was, naira, I, was, 1, I wasn't yeah, sure if it naira. was 500 because, you know, I think 500 looks like 200. 20 because naira. it has. Yeah, no, not no, necessarily. No. It looks like 200. So I wasn't sure if oh. it was 500. Oh, okay. So I, I saw that 500 and I saw another one. That, so I thought it was like 700. But I didn't know that was 1,000. Yeah, yeah. So, so yes. be careful. Be uh, careful. But, but it's okay. We'll definitely get there. You know, we're nascent democracy. We're developing. Yeah, please, we're please, getting please, there. Please, gradually. Please, please, please. Excuse for <laughs> lack of... Which well, well, excellent. In the, and I think... Well, I, I love something you said. Previous times, when, when they introduced new notes, new designs, we will not even notice. You don't notice. So you place redraw limits on, on across all channels. People can't even use those channels. <laughs> what are we talking about? Mercy. When my, my dad was alive, a blessed, blessed memory, Mr. C.J. Bartels, okay? The many times I would take him to the accident and emergency surgery, you know, when he began to get ill and he needed treatment. Sometimes you go to government hospitals, teaching hospitals, private hospitals. You don't have the POS that are working. And I used a public hospital because of the care he needed. It be, we had a lot of uh, the departments. I had to cash, look for money, even if it's midnight, when we take him to the hospital. People are being taken to the hospital on emergency. The easiest place they may go to be a private hospital because of the cost of healthcare, okay? A, a, a public hospital. They go to a general hospital, a teaching hospital. They may not have the pew. They tell them, please bring cash. What do you do? Well, it, it is uh, what we're faced with. I mean, you can't begin to count the losses. You can't count what people are going through. You can't even count how many persons would have lost their lives in, in this period, you know, following this policy. But well, like I mentioned earlier on, uh, whether it is an excuse for us to continue the way we are, but I know that we're a nascent democracy. Uh, we're growing, we're developing, and we'll definitely get there. Stay with us uh, when we return. It'll be time for us to go through the papers this morning. We call it Off the Press. Good morning.